Hey everyone, good Monday afternoon. I just wanted to come on and give another little lesson. Um, today I'm going to be talking about decimals. So the first thing I'm going to talk about with decimals is rounding decimals. So this is just like rounding whole numbers. The only difference is there is decimals. So our two rounding rules are that if it's four or less, we round it down. Okay, so if the number to the right of the decimal is four or less, we're going to round it down. And that actually means that the number is going to stay the same. So for example, if the number was a three, it's going to stay as a three. It's not going to go down to a two. The second rule is, the, is if it's five or more, we round up. So if the number to the right um, is a seven, we're going to round the number up. So for example, if we have 1 and 492 thousandths, and we want to round to the nearest tenth, we should underline the tenths place. So we need to really remember our decimal place how we do it. Well, so this is our ones place, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So if we are rounding to the nearest tenth, we are going to look at the digit to the right to determine if we're going to round up or down. So in this case, we have a 9. So 9 is more than 5, so we are going to round this up. So what this would become is 1 decimal 5, and then the digits behind the number that we rounded to become zeros. In this case, we could also just leave them out. Um, another example here is 1 and 32 hundredths. If we want to round to the nearest whole number, so that means whole number means no decimal. So I cover that up. What I'm going to be looking at is my ones. I'm going to round to the nearest ones place. And I'm going to look at the digit to the right. So in this case, I'm going to look at the 3 to determine if I round up or down. Since 3 is less than 4, I'm going to round this number down. So what that means is I'm going to be rounding to 1. And everything behind is going to become zeros. Okay. Once I round some numbers, I can do some estimating. So now I'm going to estimate the sum of these two numbers. I notice here that there's a digit here in the thousands place, and there's nothing here in the hundreds or in this in this thousands place. So I can use zero as a placeholder. This is going to make sure that I don't get confused, and I'm making sure to add or subtract my correct place values. So I'm going to put a zero here. So then my answer here would be 2 and 5 tenths, or I could also read this as 2 and 500, 500,000. So that's a little bit of rounding here. Second thing I want to go over with decimals is adding and subtracting them. So when I'm adding and subtracting, decimals, really the most important thing is to make sure you line up the decimal. So when we line up the decimals, that also means that we are going to be lining up the place values. So if I have 18 and 72 hundredths and 22 and 931 thousandths, when I'm lining this up, when I'm rewriting it vertical, the most important thing is to make sure my decimals line up. So that's what I'm going to put in first. I'm going to put in my decimals. Okay. Then I'm going to start plugging in my numbers. So when I'm adding, I can put either number on top. It really doesn't matter. But when I'm subtracting, I have to make sure that I have to put whatever number is first on the top. Here I'm adding, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm going to put the first number on the top anyways. Then I'm going to line this up. So to the left of the decimal, I have a 2 and then a 2. To the right of the decimal, I have a 9 and then a 3 and a 1. So I notice here that while I've got nothing here, and a 1 here in the thousandths place, I can use a 0 as a placeholder. Okay. So now I'm going to add. Starting from my right, 
0 plus 1 is 1, 2 plus 3 is 5, 7 plus 9 is 16. So I can put my 6 in and then carry my 1 up. I should also make sure that I put the decimal in at this point so I don't forget to do it later. So then I'm going to go 1 plus 8 plus 2, which is 11, and then 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 4. So I would end up with an answer of 41 and 651 thousandths. Now, adding and subtracting decimals has a lot to do with money. So you will see um, lots of money in that. If you go to the stores and you've got a $20 bill and you're going to spend $18.91, well, you can figure out how much change you are going to get. So um, that's all I have to say about decimals for today. Thank you guys for watching. And have a great day.